water into wine. We've heard about a few of the Lord's amazing miracles. Each one shows us the loving kindness of God towards us. And today's miracle does the same. It happens in a place called Cana and in a wedding. Jesus, his mother and his close friends have all been invited. After a while, the wine runs out. Now this would have been a huge embarrassment for the bridegroom, not to mention the damage to his reputation if word got out. The chances are people would have thought him either foolish or mean, or even both. Jesus doesn't seem to be aware of it, so his mother comes to tell him of the predicament. Now we see that the Lord Jesus cares for all the details of our lives, whether big or small. He tells the servants to fill up some very large jars with water. These jars were there so people could wash their hands. The Bible tells us that they could hold between 20 and 30 gallons of water. When they'd filled them, Jesus tells them to draw some off and take it to the master of the banquet. The master must have been relieved. He could continue to supply wine for the guests. But he's amazed when he himself tastes the wine. It's very good wine indeed. He goes to the groom to ask him how he's kept the best wine to last. Normally, the best wine would be first. We don't know his answer, but we can be sure he must have been as surprised and relieved as the master of the banquet was. The Bible goes on to tell us that this is the first miracle Jesus performed in public. Also, it's the first sign to people of who he actually is. Again, this miracle causes his close friends to believe in him, that he really is the Son of God. These miracles are recorded for us in the Bible so that we might believe in him too. For the next three years, the Lord Jesus is going to perform countless miracles and acts of kindness for people just like us. But the greatest miracle of all has to be that people just like us can believe and be forgiven and become the very children of God. This is the greatest kindness. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. John chapter 3 verse 16 He made the stars to shine